Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week five of the GBA D League. Uh, this week we're up against Six Foot Hacks and the Durham Drudigons. Um, we have not been in fine form at all uh, in recent weeks, and uh, coming up against uh, someone like Leo and his caliber and his league record is isn't exactly what I want right now. So. Um, I, there isn't a team builder, I don't think, at this point, because I'm having serious computer issues. So if this video goes up, uh, it's a miracle in itself. Um, but um, I'll briefly go over my team. Um, I know some of you guys might want to know in more detail what's gone on. But um, I, realistically, I don't think I'm really going to be within a chance of making the playoffs, considering there's only uh, nine games in this season and the top four go in. The fact I've lost three probably means I'm out of it anyway. Um, so I have made some transfers, effective a week seven. I won't spoil them um, until you know the time comes around. Um, but there are going to be some changes coming to the Norwich City in upcoming weeks. So um, enough of that. Let's just get into the team. We've got an offensive assault vest Delmise. The whole of Leodan's draft had about two things, which. Um, didn't get hit super effective by Ghost, Steel and Grass coverage. Um, so that was quite nice. Uh, it's a debut for Delmise as well. Next up we've got Choice Scarf to Electify because he has got the Greninja, he's got the Aero, and he's got the Tapu Fini. Um, if we can get rid of the Donphan, which we certainly should be able to do with the Buizel and the Delmise around, um, then that can cause some serious issues with Vault Switching and Thunderbolts and things like that. Um, next up we've got Physically Defensive Clefable with Magic Card. Um, I bought the Pabiri Berry for Iron Head on Aero or on the Chiron Black, but the Chiron Black didn't come. Um, next up we have the Latti Ass, and because the Chiron Black didn't come, um, this thing will have a much better chance of setting up. Uh, the Greninja's there. Uh, there is a potential for it to be Choice Scarf. I mean, it would obviously outspeed my um, Latti Ass anyway, but you know, in my head I'm thinking I've got the Cold Berry, if I can get to a Calm Mind up, I'll be taking Dark Pulses for days. Um, so that was Calm Mind, Roost, Thunderbolt, and Dragon Pulse, because that combination hits his team super effective or neutral. Um, so that's quite nice. Next up, we have Buizel. Might seem like a funny bring, because he's got Greninja, he's got Tapu Fini on his team. But then again, he has got that Dom Fan, he has got the Aerodactyl, which after Rocks doesn't appreciate an Aqua Jet. Um, the coverage on this thing isn't quite going to cover what he brought. Um, I felt like the coverage I have, I have Brick Break, because I needed it for Kyron Black and potentially Snorlax. Um, Aqua Jet, Ice Punch for any Shaman, and the Hydro Pump in case of any Rocky Helmet um, Dom Fan switches. So, um, that's that. And then finally we have Offensive Skun Tank, because Leo really doesn't have a good switch in for this thing. Um, his steel, uh, sorry, his Poison Immunity is Bronzong, which is weak to Crunch and Sucker Punch. Um, poison Jab hits the Tapu Fini and the Shaman super effective. It will hit most things hard other than Donphan on his team. Um, obviously the Crunch beats this thing as well. Um, Sucker Punch will outspeed the Aero, do a nice bit of damage to that. I know Greninja resists, but do some decent damage to that as well. Um, and also the Chiron Black if he did bring it. So that's a real quick overview of my team. As you can see, we've kindly gone over uh, on Leo's team. We've got the Donphan, which I uh, was something that could have definitely come. Um, Snorlax I wasn't expecting because I do have the Mega Lop in the draft. Obviously, it's the first week I didn't bring it. Um, but he decided to bring it, which is fine. Um, Greninja, uh, yeah. I mean, Greninja's so good in this format, even just Torrent with Life Orb. Mega Aero, I was very confident was coming because if I bought Lop, he needed that to outspeed. The whole reason I didn't bring Lop was because every time I bought uh, a Lop and he came in and got a kill, um, he got a free switch into Aerodactyl and I have zero switchings, so I didn't want uh, Ford to, to give him that momentum. And he's also got the Finny and the, the Reuniclus, so he's very much prepared for the, um, the Lop and he on his team. Um, as I did just mention then, there's Lassie Monzar, the Finny, and the... Uh, the Reuniclus. Uh, the Finny I'm very much expecting to be physically bulky because, you know, he needs that to take on the Lopany. Reuniclus, I'm not really sure. Um, I wasn't too sure if he'd bring it or not, but I wasn't too scared by it either because I have got the Delmise and the Skun Tank to um, hit that thing super effective. So, without further ado, let's just get into the battle. Um, it was a fun battle, I'll give you that much. And I thought I'd change up the background music this week. I think, is this Guzma? I think it is. Um, I haven't played through the story of Sun and Moon for so long, but... Hey, it's a cool song nevertheless. So, uh, Leo does lead with the Domfan here, and I'm going to lead with the Delmise. Now, um, in my head, he's either going to stay in, click Stealth Rocks, or he's going to switch out because he doesn't want to get his super effective. Um, he actually just clicks Gunk Shot, though. Now, that's fine. It's going to do about 40%. Um, 
kind of reveals to me he might be an offensive dumb fan, but I go for Power Whip here. So I do hit, which is nice because it's going to do really good damage to this thing, and it's going to bring him down to a sturdy, which reveals he is offensive. Um, however, because he is Rocky Helmet, that puts me in, I mean, that Rocky Helmet recoil is mad. Um, it actually puts me in the range of another gunk shot, and I was unsure if he'd want to try and set up rocks here. Or if you'd want to keep this thing as death fodder because it is his ground immunity. Um, but he actually stays and clicks gunk shot and hits. So he hits two gunk shots, which is really frustrating. And we lose our Delmise straight away. So um, here I bring in Floatzel, which is a bad play, really. Um, because anything would have killed Dumbfront at this point, And this just gives him a free switch into his Tappy Finny. Um, I believe I'm going to stay in and just click Aqua Jet. The reason I would have done this is because obviously he might have had the Ice Shard. Um, but he does switch into the Finny, and the Aqua Jet literally does nothing. I am Life Orb, so it does give me a little boost, but he is Leftovers. So the one good thing out of this exchange is we do find out this is a Leftovers Tappy Finny and nothing else, you know, really weird. Um, I'm going to switch, though, because Floatzel's still got a decently good uh, matchup on its hands once this, thing's, once this thing is gone. Um, I'm going to go into the Clefable, and he goes for the Nature's Madness. Now, literally, there, there was nothing I could really have prepared for, you know, like... It, uh, Registeel could have been a decent switching, but you know, Nature's Madness would kind of screw me over there. Um, uh, what else have I got that's bulky? I'm not going to switch Latias yes on this thing, because obviously it's a fairy type. And here he goes to the Taunt, and I'm just not switching on when it comes to potential Tauntmons. So, um, I can't get Stealth Rock off there, and because I haven't got Leftovers, I'm not recovering health at the same time. So, this is a losing battle for me. I'm going to go into Scun Tank, because I know I'll take a Moonblast okay, because it is neutral, and I have a bit of HP investment, and this Tappy Finny isn't offensively invested, I don't think, so, um, with some Black Sludge, um, sort of healing, uh, I'm just going to click Poison Jab, because he hasn't really got an ideal switch in, um, but he brings in Bam Bam, which I believe is his Snorlax, and I think it makes it, I think Poison Jab here is roughly going to be a free hit KO, now, I don't know what set of Snorlax this is, um, I th in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm going to click Poison Jab again, because if he's cursing, um, I want to try and get him to pop his berry as soon as possible, and uh, I then just need to try and hit him on the special side. So, um, we do good damage, and he actually reveals he's got Earthquake, so I'm like, oh no, there's some kind of offensive Snorlax, and Leo said to me afterwards, he thought I was, uh, like, a, well, he knew I was offensive, so he didn't think I'd be HP invested, um, but I do actually live that Earthquake on free, which is really nice. I'm not sure if Poison Jab is going to kill, so I'm going to switch out here because I can still bring this thing in on the Tapu Fini and get a big old hit off. So I'm going to go into my Clefable. As he reveals the Rock Tomb, which is obviously there for the Volcarona. Um, so that's a nice bit of uh, prep there by Leo, but that Rock Tomb literally does nothing. Um, he's going to switch out here because he knows I can like get my rocks up here if I want to. Um, but in comes the uh, Donphan, so I'm going to give my Stealth Rocks. Um, realistically, I should have clicked Moonblast. I'm, I was confident this thing was going to come in, um, and he could now Rapid Spin, but because now he's offensive, I'm pretty sure he'd outspeed me, but he decides to go for the Gunk Shot and just take out my Clef, and this is where I have the wrong berry. I have the Babiri Berry, and obviously not the... I think it's the Kebia Berry. Um, so we're down 6-4. My one bulky Mon, um, if you don't count Latias. Latias is kind of bulky in its EV spread, but I think, okay, this is my best chance to get set up. I'm going to click Calm Mind. Um, I'm thinking he's going to have Knock Off. Um because knockoff is useful and I am Colberberry, so I'm like, okay, we can we can do this. And if I'm set up specially, Greninja can't do anything to me, but he reveals to play rough, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, um, he has play rough, and that does way too much, so I'm thinking, great, now I've just thrown away my Latias for no reason. So I'm going to click Dragon Pulse, and I do actually kill this thing. Um, he doesn't have Rapid Spin, he doesn't have Ice Shard, I don't think. Um, so the Dragon Pulse does kill, and that was the slowest I've ever seen a HP bar drop. So... Um, I do get the kill there, but now the Greninja's free to come in, so I'm weak enough to the point where, um, well, I'm thinking that I might take a Dark Pulse here, because I'm plus one, I have got the Cold Berry, but he clicks U-turn, um, and just kills me with that, so that's less than ideal. It's now 5-3, and we're on the back foot again, it's really not going well for me. Um, but I do get the, uh, Switch Initiative here, now because the Dom fan has gone, I can just go into my, um, I can go into my Electify if I want. Um, but I'm going to go into my Skun Tank or something. Okay, I want to take as much damage as I can. Uh, I'm going to click the Crunch. He is going to be the Colberberry himself on this thing. So this is where Delmise would have been really nice. Um, Shadow Claw would have done a huge amount of damage to this thing. I do get the Defense Drop, which is quite nice. And this is where having Crunch on my Floatzel would have been really useful. Um, because Zebo does go down. And we're 5-2 down um, against... Well, uh, a really scary team. I have to go into my Electivire, and I have to just click Thunderbolt. 
Um, we don't know if this thing's regenerator or um, or not at this point, but he does bring in the Snorlax. Um, I think Leo told me this is AB at the end, but I'm pretty confident that after Rocks, two Thunderbolts are definitely going to kill. Uh, I'm going to go for Volt Switch though, because I expect him to switch out. He doesn't know what I'm going to do. And now in comes the Floatzel. Um, I am going to just click Brick Break here. Um, I think he expects me to make a double, so he stays in. Um, a double would have been a reasonable play, but then there's no point in me really not clicking an attack, because oh, I pretty much lost to this, this time anyway, but... Um, Floatzel gets a kill, guys. Uh, we, we have seen Floatzel get a kill. Uh, in comes Alexa Bliss, which is the Tappy Finny. I'm like, oh, I can't touch this thing. Um, I might as well stay in, because my best chance of winning now is by locking myself into Thunderbolt with the... Uh, Electivire. So actually, I'm not going to stay in. I can't remember this game. I only had it two days ago or three days ago. Um, but we're going to switch into things. I know I can take a Moonblast. I've got. I hope I don't take a special attack drop. Um, luckily, I don't. But that does do a lot of damage. 60 damage. Um, he's easily going to be able to take one Thunderbolt. Whether he can take two or not, I'm not entirely sure because I'm not sure of Leo's investment. Um, but I'm going to click Thunderbolt here just to get off a massive amount of damage because he hasn't got a switch in. Um, Apart from this thing, but we can see he's not regenerator, which means, okay, he's magic guard. And that Thunderbolt looks like it should be a 2 KO. Now, he had 79 HP at this point. My max roll was 81. The only real chance I had of getting, like, a, a good score from this game was if uh, I killed him there with that max roll. But he just clings on, and he reveals his knockoff on his Reinclus, which is cool. Um, I am going to then Volt Switch out and kill that thing. Uh, and that goes down, so it's 3-2. Um, Floatzel and Electivire are bringing this back slightly. Um, so in comes Floatzel. I mean, he's got the freest switch ever into his um, into his Tapu Fini. Um, I really can't touch this thing, so I might as well just go for, I believe, a Ice Punch, just to go for the freeze. Um, obviously, he could click Scald if he has it, but I don't think he does at this point. He is uh, Nature's Madness, Moonblast, Torn. He might have Surf, maybe. I went for the Ice Punch to go for the Freeze, because that was my only way of trying to win this game. Um, I actually went that Moon Blast, which surprised me greatly, because Floatzel really isn't very bulky. Um, but it does give me one last um, Ice Punch Freeze. I know I couldn't have frozen, actually, with that... Uh, with the... Uh, I can't think of what it's called. The Fairy thing. Fairy Mist. We'll go with that uh, up. Uh, my only way of winning now is if I freeze this Greninja, and it doesn't have Scald. Um... Because then I can... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be outspaid by the Mega Aero now, so I can't win. Um, but I don't even get the freeze in this Greninja, which is a shame. Uh, and now this Greninja is obviously going to outspeed my uh, Electifier and kill me off. Turns out this is actually a Choice Scarfed Greninja. And it's a physical one at that. So, uh, yeah, the Waterfall is definitely going to kill me. And this is why the uh, Latias wouldn't have been able to take any kind of hit anyway. Pretty sure he would have had... Well, he had U-turn to finish me off anyway. But I'm sure he'd have had Night Slash or something like that as well. So, um, that was the game against Leo. Good game. Um... I bought a lot of my lower tier things into this match because they matched up quite well against this team. But in the end, you know, uh, that that Tapu Fini and that... It was the Don fan that pretty much won in that game. And it's sad because he's used my own mascot against me. But um, good game, Leo. Uh, quite a nice quick one. At least it wasn't a 5-0 this week. It was a 3-0. We're gradually getting better at being worse. Um, so a 3-0 loss. 1-4 uh, this season. I'm just going to hate it. I'm here to have fun for the rest of the season now. Um, realistically, we're not going to be getting into them playoffs or anything like that. And so, uh, uh, I'm now rooting for Papa Jolt. You know, PPL represent. Go get him, Tiger. Um, but good game, Leo, as well. I'd like to see Leo go far and uh, maybe win the whole thing as well. So, make sure you do go check out uh, his uh, links in the description. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this battle, then make sure, obviously, you leave a like and a subscription. would be quite nice as well. I've got some things coming to the channel. I've got a new computer coming in two weeks. So, maybe some other games and some uh, co-ops and things like that. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you next week for week six uh, against, I think it's Asta um, and the Habsols. Uh, which uh, I, I'm sure, hopefully, fingers crossed, will be a, a good game. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.